Hello everybody, Rag Tag Saggy here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode. Oh, um, I did some things at Clock Town. Also, I looked up where the owl statue was. It was over here. For some reason, I thought it was supposed to be next to, uh, like right next to the building. No, it was just a little way off. I don't think I ever once looked in that direction. But anyway, let's turn into Damani and head in to Goron Village. We got some things to do. Let's just start rolling, rolling, rolling. We need to go up here. And apparently Damani cannot go up. I neither, neither can Link. I'm pressing the wrong button for Curl. Yes, I uh, don't want to fight you with you right now, Wolfos. Right, so there's supposed to be a gatekeeper here, from what I remember. Now, if you speak to the Deku Scrub as Demoni. Thank you for stopping by on doing business with a focus on the on Goron clientele. And that, sir, makes you a customer. Right now, I got a special trade in ju offer just for you. I'll give you my biggest bomb egg for a regular price of a thousand rupees. In return, you give me your big bomb bag for just 200 rupees. Ah, uh, no, that's highway robbery. Pound. This will open the door for us. We're in the Goron Shrine. Which, by the way, why is Goron Village bigger than Goron City? <laughs> From Ocarina of Time. You think because it's a village it would be smaller. But we can hear something or someone crying. The money! You're alive! The Goron Elder said you had died! Was that a lie? Whatever the case may be, welcome back. So, does that at incessant crying sounds familiar to you? The Goron Elder's son won't stop crying. Let's see if we can do something about it. Wah, wah, uh, wah. Daddy, daddy, uncle, daddy. Oh, uh, Damani, where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? So he's crying because his dad is missing. Those sideburns, aren't you, Damani? So you recognize me by my sideburns and nothing else. You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive. The elder er, was troubled because he thought you had died. I'm troubled too. The elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back, so now his son is so lonely and he won't stop crying. If you don't find the Eldon Gora, uh, Eldon Gora, uh, Goron Elder, and ask him to come back, I will never be able to sleep. And just keep, it's getting colder outside, even in here it's so cold, we could freeze. Alright, so let's... Go look for the um, elder. We technically already saw the elder by accident. So yeah, you want to fall off the ice like I did. No, you... Okay, that wolf decided to fade away from existence. You want to come in here and you want to grab the hot spring water. Trust me, it is important. Next, you want to go back outside and you want to look for the elder. Now, interesting thing about the elder, his spot is different depending on the day, the time of, uh, what day it is and the time of day you find him. Implying that he's unfreezing, slowly moving a bit, and then uh, continuing on uh, during, in between the transition to day and night. 
So where he is here, I think if you were like on the first day, he'd be closer to where that hot spring is. Huh? Huh? What was I doing? Ah! Hmm. Oh, is it already this late? I must hurry! Huh? huh? Oh, you're Damani! But you're supposed to be dead! Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of the Snowhead's magic power. Hmm, have I been made a fool of? But that's impossible! I refuse to flinch! If I see the past as the illusion, you will vanish in an instant! Huh? What? My son is crying because he misses me? Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Domani, be you, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that often played for you when you were young. How does this song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. Um... Ah, yes, yes, like this! It's no good. I can only remember the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. So here we get a look at our instrument as a Goron. We get the Goron Bongos. Learn the Goron Lullaby. You learn the lullaby intro. The soothing melody of a thoughtful father. Oh. It's not that I forget it, it's just so cold I can't play very well. At any rate, I'm counting on you. Now that we have this song, let's head back into the village. Past part of this song will- You can block a punch?! Now while I'm beating up this Wolfos, because apparently he can block even the Great Domani's punch. Okay, if you're just gonna go away. Uh, Domani! A lot of people believe he's supposed to be a counterpart to Darunia from Ocarina of Time, but he's actually supposed to be the counterpart to the Goron Hero. Because, um, D uh, Domani in concept art was meant to wield, I believe in concept, was meant to wield a hammer. So instead of punching things, you would be smacking things with a hammer. Um, it's also that if you were to put his punch in Ocarina of Time, his punch is treated as if it's the Megaton Hammer. So it has the same damage output and will destroy the very same, uh, puzzle elements that the M Megaton Hammer could. So let's play this and hope it puts the child to sleep. Yeah. That song, that's the song daddy always played for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. <laughs> and I love that he couldn't, that his father could not remember the last two notes in the song. Goron Lullaby Oh, oh. 
<sighs> Just like daddy right beside me. The kid's asleep. You, the lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. We're inside the child. The lullaby blankens the listeners in a calm, um, while making their eyelids grow heavy. And apparently it's a very powerful song because all the other Gorons in the room fell asleep. Also, you can see like a bunch of toys. Now you're going to notice that the torches in here are now lit. You want to grab a stick, make sure it's on fire. And you want to go around and lighting every torch in the building. Just put away and then pull out a new stick so that way it doesn't burn away. You need to light, I believe, it's every torch in this building. Come on, light the stick. And if you... Do it right? Wasn't that supposed to... Don't tell me the torches upstairs went out. If they did, I'm gonna be really mad. Oh no, I just... Nope, the torches are going out. Son of a bitch. Come on, I remember them staying lit much longer than that game. Anyway, if you light the frickin' torches... I don't know why they went out that quick. They shouldn't have gone out that quickly. There we go. That will start spinning. Now before I go up to that, there's actually a little thing that's hidden here. If you come down in here, you can discover a Goron shop. Huh? Welcome! So here you can buy bombs, arrows, and red potions. Not that useful. You can also see like a bunch of gems and whatnot on display, but... Anyway, so with that thing spinning, let's try our luck. You saw when we jump, they can smash. Let's smash a few of these potteries. Alright, that one was a dud. There is... You want to do this because there is something in them. Of course, you need to make sure you have enough speed built up so that we can actually do the jumps. Ow. Let's go! Uh, that one was a dud. There we go! If you hit the correct one, it's gonna drop a piece of rock meat. And if you remember that Goron back at the village mentioned that he wanted something tough and chewy. Ooey. So, we need to carry this all the way with us. Now, I believe only Domani can carry this. I don't think you can carry this as Human Link. But a neat thing about um, Goron Link is that 
if an enemy hits him, he won't immediately drop an item because he's very big and buffy. Also, you notice a piece of ice blocking a tunnel. We cannot do anything about that because it's on a higher plane. So even if we had hot spring water, we wouldn't be able to put it out. Well, put it out. I make it sound like as if it's fire. We wouldn't be able to melt the ice and so we wouldn't be able to get inside of there. Anyway, we gotta carry this all the way to that one particular Goron. As this Wolfos chases us. see so yeah the Goron should be way over there so we get him this piece of meat let's see what he gives us we just gotta f not put it down in front of him we want to throw it to where he is that that's it it's so good that I dreamed it Dodongo's Cavern's finest quality rock sir 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 Ah, so this is from Dodongo's cabin. So the uh, the Gorons here at Termina must have some sort of trade going on with the, the with the. Did I just call the Gorons the Dongos? <laughs> the Gorons of this area must be trading with the Gorons in Hyrule. This is my absolute favorite. Bless be this meal. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait one moment. Oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Dalmati, you are alive. Yes, I see. This is the reason you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. We get the Don Jero's mass. It looks just like Don Jero, the conductor of the frog choir. It was crafted so well that no one would ever think twice if you were er, to direct the frog choir. I hope the spring will come soon so I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. I hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. So off he goes. Now I believe this path right here should take us to Snowhead. The way to Snowhead, beware of Slippery Valley Trail and the giant and falling snowballs. So, while we're heading there, I want to discuss a little bit about Majora's Mask. This is definitely one of the darker Zelda games. I don't I don't know if it's... I know it was considered the darkest for the longest time. I think, I think Twilight Princess technically dethroned it in that department. But in terms of, like, darkness, this is definitely the more horror-ish as for Zelda because... Think about it, we're wearing the mask of a dead Goron and we're fulfilling his wishes of what he failed to do in life. So that way his soul can be able to be put to rest. Here we want to... Okay, so it has to be by the eye of the sword. You can't just punch it. The Owl Sour uh, statue is very particular. So you're going to notice a very weird blizzard going on, but you're not going to be able to see anything from it. That's because we put on a lens of truth. There's a giant Goron who's an asshole continuously breathing breath. Even if you try to get close, he will always breathe. What's that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? This Goron is the reason Dormani died. So he's an asshole and a traitor to his race. Um, if I remember correctly, didn't the manga for Majora's Mask actually change the way Dormani died and, and show that it was the boss of this temple? That killed him. But yeah, if you want to get past this guy, you got to play the melody. Which I screwed up royally. And you have to play this with the Goron drums. It will not work if you use any other instr instrument. Oh. 
We'll put even this big guy to sleep, and now we're gonna watch him fall to his death. And that is our way to get into the temple. Every temple, I believe, has a song needed to get into it, and that's our way. Now, I believe whenever you reset time, I think you have to replay this song to get rid of this Goron. He doesn't stay gone forever. Right, so we'll head into the temple, then we'll end the episode. So this can be a bit tricky to do it in one roll. I want to see if I can... Nope. It is possible to get up there with just one roll and get up there very quickly, but I screwed up royally. Okay, what on earth just sent me flying onto my a Come on, there's no way these guys can get me out of a roll. I think these enemies, what are these guys called? A white bow. Just calm down and attack it. So they're basically similar to the ones we saw in Woodfall. They're just smoky white instead of pitch black. Goodbye! <laughs> All right, we're just gonna walk because apparently I can't roll up there because I suck at rolling. Oh, that snowball knocked me off to my doom. Well, if I die a very similar way to how Damani got killed. I am not doing you any better, Damani. Uh, camera? Roll a bit. And apparently I can't deal with snowballs for some reason. And in the temple we go. So we made it to Snowhead Temple. So I think we'll end the episode here. And the next episode we'll start exploring Snowhead Temple. So if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video. As it helps tremendously as we get into the final day. And I'll see you next time. Later. Also, I love the ending part of this combo is that Link uses his ass. That is one mighty powerful ass. See you next time.